The City of Davenport is updating its 40-year-old zoning ordinance and would like to hear your feedback. The product of a year-long effort, this new ordinance will shape Davenport into a more vibrant, sustainable, and beautiful community by guiding both new development and redevelopment decisions. Attracting quality development to our city is a competitive process. Investors look for communities with clear, modern codes that streamline the process and get projects quickly under construction. Growing our city and building its tax base remains a top priority for Davenport's elected officials. Zoning regulations determine land use and what development will look like. They also help the city implement its comprehensive plan, which envisions what Davenport might look like 20 years from now. Zoning consists of two parts. The ordinance describes zoning districts and permitted uses such as building height, parking and landscape requirements, setback limits, and more. A zoning map shows the different zoning districts and where particular rules apply. Current effort in Davenport will result in both a new ordinance and map for the city. For the past year, city staff and an advisory committee have been working with the consulting firm Camiros, which has expertise in developing modern zoning codes. A preliminary zoning ordinance and map is now available for the public to view on the project website, davenportzoning.com. A series of listening sessions where citizens and business owners can offer suggestions and ask questions will be coming up at the beginning of August. Households today are a lot different than they were 40 years ago. There's an increased demand for smaller attached homes as well as urban style living with loft apartments and converted older commercial and industrial sites. Residents in the community want to work and shop closer to home. They want walkable neighborhoods. Different types of developments can cohabitate to get together in an area as long as any negative impacts are minimized. Home buyers want assurances that their investment in their home as well as in their neighborhood is protected through high quality construction and compatibility. How people work and shop is changing. Shoppers may prefer going online at times, but brick and mortar stores will continue to be prominent in tomorrow's landscape. Shoppers not only seek convenient options close to home, but also a more enjoyable experience that can be shaped through good urban design. These days, many people can work from home, but personal connections and group collaboration will continue to drive demand for office space. The new zoning ordinance reflects the potential for shared uses in commercial and residential development. Robotics and automation will not replace the need for educational institutions and medical facilities anytime soon. Large planned developments like St. Ambrose University or Genesis Medical Center are important to the city but the new growth and expansion must be planned for responsibly in the new ordinance. The city recruits and welcomes industrial businesses to Davenport. Along the way, we work with planning and zoning staff to interpret the ordinance. Some of the use examples in the current code include the selling of coal, hide tanning, fur finishing, and we can't leave out carbon paper manufacturing. Did you know that livery stables where you can rent a horse if you need to hitch a ride and Uber isn't available, are still permitted in the downtown industrial district. Yeehaw! On the other hand, high-tech uses such as computer assembly, software development, and robotics engineering, those are not identified in the current zoning ordinance. The new proposed regulations recognize the 21st century economy to ensure that these uses are permitted in the right locations. Working together with current public works requirements, the new code helps preserve natural resources by protecting environmentally sensitive sites, requiring robust buffering and landscaping of individual developments, and welcoming alternative modes of transportation, as well as new energy technologies. If you'd like to learn more, visit the project website at davenportzoning.com to view the preliminary zoning ordinance and map. A series of listening sessions where citizens and business owners can learn more, offer suggestions, and ask questions will take place Wednesday through Friday, August 1st through August 3rd. Please join us and share your thoughts on the future of Davenport 